My grandpa used to work on Wall Street, made a lot of money. And uh, he got, you know, burnt out, you know. This has been a while back, back in the 70s. And uh, I was talking to him one day, and I said, uh, Grandpa Elroy, um, what are you going to do now? And he told me, well, son, I'm going to raise me some pigs. I said, pigs? What in the heck are you going to raise pigs for? And he looked at me and said, I just love the pork chop. Just love the pork chop. I said, well, let me ask you something. Speaking of pork chops and Memorial Day, what are the pigs going to do on Memorial Day? And I, he said, I don't know. What about your sheep? What are your sheep going to do on Memorial Day? Have a barbecue. Farm stories from the recumbent bike. I was recently telling you about Grandpa Elroy. And I was, the day that um, we discussed the sheep on Memorial Day, he was sharing some things with me that seemed odd. We went down to the cornfield and he had this sound measuring thing that measured what the dogs, the dog whistle thing. And it was fascinating because he put it up against the corn and it registered on this thing and translated. And all of a sudden I saw, he would say pigs go to the barn or cows come to the corn or whatever. And they do it. And I said, grandpa, but why are they doing what the corn said? He looked at me and he said, son, he's the colonel. Farm stories from the recumbent bike. That same day, Grandpa Elroy and myself standing in the cornfield and Jimmy came by and all the corn just covered, covered their stalks up with the leaves. It was incredible. And I said, Grandpa Elroy, why, why is the corn afraid of Jimmy? And my grandpa said, son, he likes to call me son, Jimmy cracked corn and he don't care.